Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm a registered clinical counselor in the province of BC um, and the manager of mental wellness programs at the YMCA of Greater Vancouver. Thank you for joining me in this third video of the Why Wellness series. If you missed the first two videos, I'll just encourage you to hit the pause button, go back and watch them, and then come back and join us. Why Wellness is a series of eight short videos that focus on providing education and information on the framework of acceptance and commitment therapy, also known as ACT. In the most recent video, I focused on the ACT core concept of connecting with the present moment, including breaking down what this means and how we practice it. In today's video, I'm gonna dive further into the concept of acceptance and how this strategy can help us when we're in distress. Acceptance is the opposite to avoidance. So it means actively acknowledging the internal experiences that we have, thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations in our body. Now this probably sounds familiar to the last video on connecting with the present moment, but acceptance goes one step further. It asks us to not only be aware of our present moment experience, but also to allow whatever's showing up for us in our present moment experience to be there just as it is without trying to control or change it. So this means in moments of distress where we might be feeling emotions such as nervousness, worry, or anxiety, and having thoughts such as, I don't wanna be here, or I can't do this, that we actually allow and accept these experiences to be as they are. Now you're probably thinking, why on earth would I wanna do that? I hear you, bear with me as we go through this example. So let's say I experience something that brings up sadness, and I notice the thought such as, I don't like feeling this way. If I choose to approach this feeling with resistance, then I might experience anger towards my sadness. I might be really mad that I'm sad. And then when I think about feeling mad, I might feel guilty about that. So now I'm feeling guilty about feeling mad, about feeling sad. And then I might respond to that initial thought of not only do I like not like feeling this way, I can't feel this way or I shouldn't feel this way or there must be something wrong with me if I feel this way and I'm not strong enough. And when I have all those series of, of thoughts then I might be reminded of some time in my past when I felt um, that I was weak or not good enough. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm prolonging my distress and making it harder on myself by piling all this stuff on top of that initial sadness. So the alternative to this is, you might have guessed it, acceptance. Now acceptance doesn't mean I like my sadness or I'm giving up and giving in to my sadness. It means that I'm recognizing and acknowledging in this moment I'm having the experience of sadness and I'm having some thoughts associated with that emotion. Acceptance means that I'm gonna allow my emotions and thoughts to be there just as they are because I know that if I fight against them, resist them, repress them, try to avoid them, I'm actually gonna make it harder for myself in the long term. So remember that guilt about the anger, about the sadness? Yeah. So then this is the part where we start talking about, okay, you know, if you're thinking, okay, acceptance, like I can maybe get on board with something like that. So how would I do something like that? There's lots of different ways of practicing acceptance. Here are a couple. So I've talked a little bit about physical sensations that we experience in our bodies. One of the ways to practice acceptance is to notice what's happening in your body when that distressing thought or emotion comes up. The idea is to be aware of and to allow the physical sensations to be there, no matter what they are. It could be tightness in our chest, it could be headache, it could be tension in our neck or muscles. We might even notice that our body actually moves and responds to certain emotions. So often sadness comes up and we might kind of do something like this, or anger comes up and we kind of might do something like this. So with acceptance, we're gonna notice and allow those physical sensations to be in our body, just as we're noticing and allowing whatever emotions or thoughts that are coming up for us. Another way of practicing acceptance is to um, respond to yourself the way you would a friend or loved one if they were struggling. So um, oftentimes if we know someone who's having a tough time, we probably wouldn't say, well, that's stupid or you shouldn't feel that way. We would probably say something like, oh, it sounds like you're going through a really tough time or I'm hearing that you're trying your best in this really difficult circumstance. 
So we can use that same kindness and compassion as we approach ourselves, and that can help us with acceptance. We usually tend to approach ourselves with a lot of criticism and judgment, and you shouldn't do this way, and you're wrong, and you're bad, and on and on and on. Instead, we can say, I'm really struggling with this. You know, I'm, I'm feeling this sadness, and it's, it's really uncomfortable. So again, these two acceptance strategies are identifying and allowing those physical sensations to be in our body, just as we identify and allow the thoughts and emotions. And then secondly, to approach ourselves with kindness and compassion, just as we would when we respond to a friend or loved one who is struggling. So I encourage you to try out these acceptance strategies for yourself and see what you notice. And I just wanna say one more thing before we wrap up today's video. Acceptance is about making space for your internal experiences. It's not about accepting things that might be happening to you externally that are wrong or bad. It's not just about blindly accepting everything. It's actually about accepting internally how you might be responding to some of that conflict or struggle. So accepting the thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations inwardly as opposed to accepting everything outwardly. So we're going to wrap up this video on acceptance. Thanks so much for joining me in this Why Wellness series. Um, stay tuned for the next video where I break down the ACT strategy of diffusion. My name is Sarah. Thanks for joining.